Today we're going to review prime factorization. Prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. Okay, take, let's take a look at this little chart. Composite numbers listed here, and our prime numbers listed here. Composite numbers are made up of prime factors. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 5 is 10. So each of these numbers is called the prime factorization of its composite number. So again, to review, a prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to make the original number. Let's find the prime factorization of the number 12 together. This time, we're going to use a factor tree. So 12 can be factored into 2 times 6. But we're not done because we need to factor all the numbers until they're all prime. 6 is not a prime number. 6 is not prime, but 2 times 3, 2 and 3 are prime numbers. Now, because 2 and 3 are prime numbers, we're done factoring. So the prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, now we're going to review how to find the greatest common factor using prime factorization. Let's find the greatest common factor of 12 and 24 using prime factorization. So we just did 12 in the past slide and it's 2 times 6, or if you went 3 times 4, your results would end up the same, and 2 times 3. Let's make our factor tree for 24 now. So 2 times 12 is 24. 2 is a prime number, so we leave it. 2 times 6 equals 12. And 6 is not a prime number, so we'll factor it. 2 times 3 equals 6. All right, to find the greatest common factor using prime factorization, now we want to circle the common uh, largest factors first, which is 3 largest prime number factors, three and three, and then we have two and two over here, two over here, and two over here. So the greatest common factor is gonna be a product of the common prime factors. So that would be two times two times three. Two times two is four, and four times three is 12. So the greatest common factor equals 12. Let's do one more example together. Find the greatest common factor of 24 and 60. What we're going to do is make use the factor tree to help us along here. So let's look at 24. 2 times 12 is 24. 2 times 6 is 12. And 2 times 3 is 6. Now for 60. 2 times 30 is 60. 2 times 15 is 30. And 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, time to highlight our common factors. So 3 and 3 on this side. And then 2 on this side, 2 on this side, 2 on the left side, and 2 on the right side. So our greatest common factor equals 2 times 2 times 3, or written like this, 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. finding the greatest common factor, we're also going to use factor trees. So we did 12 before, 2 times 6, and 2 times 3, so then we would circle 2, 2, and 3. For 18, we would go 2 times 9 equals 18. 9 is not a prime number, but 3 is, and 3 times 3 equals 9. 
and then circle two, three, and three. Now you go ahead and circle who has the most factors on each side. So 18 has two threes and 12 has two twos. So the least common multiple of 12 and 18 is going to be two times two times three times three, which equals two times two is four, four times three is 12, and three times 12 is 36.